Hello and welcome to another video from the Computer Techie and today we are going to be looking at how to add a lag to a VLAN and this is using the Netgear switching web interface thing and we're using the GS724T um, so you've already created your lag if you don't know how to create a lag on these Netgear switches then you can go back and watch my other video and I'll show you how to make a uh, link aggregation thing on the uh, Netgear switch but we can see here we've already got a main um, lag set up and um, the link is down but it's it's there doesn't matter whether it's down or not but anyhow so all what we want to do is we want to add this lag membership to a VLAN so all we need to do is make sure on the switching tab head over to the VLAN and if we come down to advance and go to VLAN membership we can select our lag so all of them or well, we can select lag 1 so we've tagged lag 1 and we're going to put it on VLAN ID 2 Sorry, you have to select the VLAN that you want first and then you tag your lag. And then the VLAN type we could put as, I don't know, home. Tag port members. None. That's good. Okay, right. Apply. That is it. That should be it. Go, go forth, apply. There we go. That is literally how you attach your lags to a VLAN. Of course, you can only have four lags, so I use one, two, three, and four. I thought you could change these, but quite obviously not. And then that is it. There are other things here as well. Also, VLAN configuration, you can add more VLANs. So, if we wanted to add a VLAN 78, and call it um, PIES, and then hit Add at the bottom, It will add our VLAN 78 PIES as a static VLAN. And then if we go over here to VLAN membership again, we could select our VLAN 78. The VLAN name is now called PIES and it's a static VLAN. And we could tag this to our lag too. Hit apply. And then bam, we have lag one tagged on VLAN two and lag two tagged on VLAN seventy eight. So that is how you add your link aggregation connections on your twenty four port, forty eight port, whatever port it is, Netgear switch to a VLAN. So I hope this video helps you out somewhat. Um, if you liked it, then go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because of course I will continue to make more of these informational videos. And uh, if you've got any questions, then leave them below in the comments. And of course, if you don't know how to create a lag or you're stuck on something, then of course you can always go ahead and search my channel for it. If I haven't got it, then comment on one of my videos asking for a video on how to do it. And I'll probably look into doing it for you or ask you back in text on how to do it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.